Apple Valley. Thanks for tuning in for another Eagle Eye. I'm Reem Alsadi. And I'm Kiera Miner. We have a great show for you today. Yes, we do. First up is a story about something important to every one of us, respect. That's right. And right now with the weather heating up, the end of the year coming up, testing season, parent-teacher conferences next week, stress and tension can be high. It's important to remember to be kind and respectful. Here's Jeremy with the story. At Apple Valley, students from all walks of life gather every day to experience a very diverse community. Some of the lessons you can learn from this are various methods of interacting with people. This happens everywhere, both in the classroom and out. Respect is one of the most key skills needed to operate in society. Students, by and large, are very respectful. I mean, I, I, the, the cases I've had are few and far between. Teenagers, a lot of times, may make a bad choice. That doesn't make them a bad person. We decided to look into disrespect to see how it affects people when it happens. Well, disrespect of the, of the students in the school can really impact the safety and well-being of students here at Apple Valley High School. I have seen depression happen, and for myself, I also had depression from being bullied when I was younger, so it definitely causes depression, it causes anxiety, it causes people to just shut others out, so. Though most may think they know how to handle a situation should it arise, Many don't take action for fear of being criticized. I think one of the most important things is not be silent when you see it happening. If you're observing it and you're not doing anything about it, you're part of the problem. I've been bullied in the past and I've told an adult and it changed everything, but I think people don't like to do that because then everyone seems to hate them. Um, I'd say it's pretty consistent. I'd say the majority of kids are respectful and you have a couple every once in a while that make a bad choice here or there. In such a diverse community, it's important to remember that everybody has to put in an effort to maintain a respectful environment. To do so, you can watch your actions, don't stay silent, and remember the causes and effects of disrespect. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Jeremy Vogel. Looks like AVHS has done a good job with showing respect. Great job, Eagles. And you know what? There are many people in our school who deserve our respect. And there's one person this week who we like to focus on. He's actually a substitute in our school. Mr. Haas is seen around Apple Valley often. For most of you, he may just be a substitute teacher, but to those of you who have been fortunate enough to sit down and talk with him, he's a lot more. Caitlin has the story. Mr. Haas substitutes for many teachers in this school. You may know him for the incredible stories he tells, but you may not know him for the amazing influence he has on other people. I would say the thing that's the most special is that he kind of reminds me of like my grandpa um, because he's like a black man and he's educated and he uh, goes out of his way to share his experiences and it's just so awesome to hear. As soon as I say that Mr. Haas is going to be your sub, everybody gets very, very excited about that. He's a very inspirational man. He's somebody who just kind of exudes joy when he comes into the classroom. He's passionate about kids, he's passionate about his family and he's passionate about his story. He isn't just a substitute teacher, but a mentor to many students around the school. The experiences he has been through helps him help younger students understand how life works. I participated in, in football, basketball, track and field, and baseball. Uh, I was looking to, to win a scholarship to a four-year four year college. Uh, my parents uh, weren't uh, that financially viable, and so I knew that if I was going to go on to college, I would need to probably secure a scholarship. He told us about his experiences as like someone in college or in high school when he was going to college and talked about him playing football and him just like being under the radar as like a black man in the, in the South and like it really spoke to me because obviously my dad and my, most of my parents are actually from the South. Sometimes great things come in small packages, but in this case it's an over six foot package of great stories, many accomplishments, and a caring demeanor. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Caitlin Heckman. Mr. Haas is truly an amazing person and seems to be an inspiration to everyone. You know, recently Tyus Jones also seems to have become an inspiration to many. He definitely is. Tyus was the most outstanding player of the Final Four tournament this year after his team, the Duke Blue Devils, won the NCAA championship. He is currently on the cover of Sports Illustrated and has a great impact on our community. Here's Tori with the story. Tyus Jones is one of the top college basketball players in the country. He has played a major role in influencing kids and teens to strive to achieve their goals. Not only has he impressed people throughout the country, he has had a major impact on the youth in our community. I know him from um, at the community center. I was playing basketball with him and um, he kept on shooting with him and it was fun. Tyus is just um, one of those kids that 
you don't forget. Tyus has impacted both me and my classroom throughout when he was in second grade until now by the way that he still came back into the classroom to read stories to my classroom. Having Tyus on the basketball team was really a privilege. As a coach, he's almost an extension of who we are on the basketball court. We involve the youth programs uh, before the games. They get introduced as a starting lineup. They get to run out through the huddle. And for that split second, they get to be Tyus Jones. When he was little, they were always special memories, watching him come up. Obviously, when he won the state title, that was memorable. And this year, when he won the national title, and was named the uh, most outstanding player. I have, I have a lot of memories playing with my brother. Just had a lot of fun. You know, when we work out or in the gym shooting together, we just have a lot of memories doing those things. My brother, obviously, is one of my role models. Uh, our relationship as coach and player is kind of a, uh, it's a part of who we are as brothers as well. Uh, it's kind of all basketball all the time. Everyone else may see him as a star athlete. I mean, he is one, but... We're proud of who he is, not, not of what he's done. I just see him as like a regular brother. At the end of the day, he's still my son. I love him. What a great story. Did you hear that yesterday, Tyus announced that he will be entering the NBA draft for next season? I did. Congratulations, Tyus. And I guess he won't have to worry about getting into a senior slide anytime soon. It is that time of the year again, isn't it? The weather is getting nice and seniors are starting to prioritize their free time differently. We call this the senior slide. Let's take a look at the physics behind this phenomenon. All right, today we're going to learn about the physics of the senior slide. And throughout the trimester, these levels actually can vary. We start off pretty good as seniors, about 25%. So pretty low senioritis, and then spring break, and it doubles all the way up to 50%. And we hang out there for a good solid week. Mid-try, it drops back down because you have parent-teacher conferences, so all of a sudden it hits kind of a record low for senioritis. But around prom time, it then jumps way up to 80%. And it hangs out there for a period of two to three weeks where the senioritis basically is running rampant through the senior class. And senioritis actually is the lowest, the second to last day for seniors, because that's when they realize they actually should have probably turned in at least one homework assignment throughout the trimester. The very last day for seniors, you'd think it'd be some very high number, like 100%, but it's actually undefined. We can't determine the senioritis for every senior because it's different for everyone. So some people think the limit does not exist as it approaches affinity. So that's the math and the physics behind senioritis. Wow, I didn't know there was a whole theory behind that. No wonder why our physics classes go to Valley Fair this time of year. Not everyone is slacking, though. Here's a story about one student with an incredible talent and a hard to match. Emily has a story. Many of us have seen Drew Ockwig walking through the hallways, sitting in your classes, or around the school. But most people are unaware of his extraordinary talent. I often get jealous because of how talented he is at what he does. He lives and breathes drawing and, and animation. People like to come to the whiteboard a lot and say, can I just show you how I drew this? And his skills are, are exceptional. I can finally bring my drawings to life and I can make them interact in the real world. Although Drew is a talented artist, there is something about him that makes him just a little different than the others. Um, I had an ultrasound, just a regular ultrasound, and um, they said that there was a, he had, that they thought he had a birth defect. He needed a lot of surgeries. Um, he was in the hospital probably the first year of his life. Somewhere along the line, I think he was about three, we started to notice that, well, he was really smart. <laughs> he was reading and nobody really taught him how to read, and it was around that age that we had him tested, he, and we found out he had, um, um, Autism. Drew faces challenges that most of us will never encounter. However, he is able to look past his disability and enjoy the brighter side of life while inspiring those around him to do the same. It inspires me how kind he is even when some people aren't kind to him. There are uh, other students in, in my classroom during the time that Drew's in here that I think really look up to Drew. He is a um, He's a teacher, um, he's, he's a hard worker. I don't know anybody that works as hard as he does. He's, he's overcome just physical and, and, and mental challenges, you know. He sees the world in ways that I don't, 
even notice. We're where we are, who we are, with many of the friends that we have and the family that we have, pretty much because of Drew. As we've seen from Drew, no matter who you are and what obstacles get in your path, there is always a way to overcome them. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Emily Severson. Drew is inspiring in many ways. I completely agree. What an amazing guy and story. He has such a great way of expressing himself, and hopefully others will be able to see that as well. All right, that's all we have for you this week. Have a good rest of the day, Apple Valley. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.